Good morning, folks. In the last few hours, that massive plasma filament destabilized and erupted, ripping away from the sun. This was not directed at Earth, but it shows you why you have to watch these filaments as much as you watch the sunspots. Our current earthquake watch continued rolling along with a six-pointer south of Africa yesterday. A 5.9 listed by the USGS in Indonesia actually hit 6.6, 6.5, and 6.4 on some readers. Quite a downgrade. Five-pointers in Greece are noteworthy as well, and we got two of them. Apart from that filament eruption, it was a calm day on our star. The solar flaring died way down the last 24 hours. Let's look at the sunspots. The massive grouping still maintains a delta class where positive and negative meet at that largest umbral core, but it is fading quite a bit as it turns into face Earth. Where have we seen that before? Three days of solar wind telemetry show speed in yellow dropping off, geomagnetic instability trending down with it. My cosmic ray frustration continues as not only is the main muon chart still not updated, but they expect us to believe that all the muon charts used to compile this data stopped on the 13th as well. No new data from any of them in five days. At some point, the folks over at Delaware are going to have to answer to someone for that. Oh well. Rosetta update. Not much new info as the lack of sunlight exposure to the lander is keeping it in sleep mode, but We've got the images from its bouncy landing. These are actually pretty darn good. Still makes me wonder why the siding spring images were so terrible. Link is below. Also one for Vesta. New geologic map from the Dawn mission. Check it out. We had noted before that Pavlov was erupting in Alaska. Now NASA's Earth Observatory has some amazing shots of this from space. We're still eyeing the Indian Ocean Cyclone, charging up as it heads to the southwest for Madagascar. Also remember that African convergence from two days ago? They took a major hailstorm from it, and I do mean major. We'll kick it to the North American West Coast, where a new system is rolling in now. It will reach the coastline in the next few hours to a day at most. Here's the convergence from yesterday's severe watch area in the Gulf. It spawned a number of tornadoes. Of course, the real story is the cold behind it, pushing the cloud line out of the way and allowing absurdly cold temperatures to slide in. Almost the entire U.S. is freezing. Half the country is covered in snow. And we're not done yet, as parts of the east will see their coldest temperatures in the overnight tonight, including Florida with frost and freeze warnings. Florida. New power low coming together in the North Atlantic while the eastern Mediterranean system shifts north and strengthens. Easy to see the cloud lines there. Let's get some weather shares. Down under, I see a convergence cresting the southwest now, another one to the northeast, and the primary flow atop New Zealand. Watch the prevalent cloud lines there. Mobile Observatory comes to Charlotte today. We're in Raleigh on Thursday. Then we head south. For all details, head over to observatoryproject.com. Got some terrific shots of our star to close. 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.